Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS height and width. Now the CSS height and width belong to the height and width of the content. What is the content? The content is the text that you write, so it is going to be the height of that. So if we select, we have already selected our section, so this is our section, and you can see there is a tooltip that says section, and I think purple, it says 922.4 times 65.51. The first value is always going to be width, and the second value is going to be height. So the height of this section's content is 922.4, sorry, 65.51, and the width is going to be 922.4. The same values can be seen in here as well, within the box model. 922 by 65. So whenever you set the height for any any element, that is basically the height of the content. You are not changing the padding, you are not changing the border, you are not changing the margin. You are just changing the height, this one. There are some exceptions, but they get very complicated and that's very advanced. I do not want to get into those, but that is basically the basic idea behind it. So if I grab section, now originally the width is 922, but I could change it. So I'm going to say height, let's set the height to 200 pixels. If I save that, now you can see that the height is actually 200 pixels. And if you hover on it, so let me bring this down. If you go here, now you can see the height is bigger. You can change the width as well. So let's set the width to 600 pixels. And now you can see our content, our section has dimensions. It is a 2D section, 600 into 200. This is what is meant by the height and the width of the content. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.